What's up everyone, this is Cybernod, and today I'm going to open up the brand new uh, Big and Collectibles uh, monthly subscription crate for June 2018. So yeah, of course, this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! monthly subscription crate that they have. You guys have already probably known this because I open up one of these every month, but basically, the monthly subscription crate has the newest products for Yu-Gi-Oh! that came out that month. It's something that Big and Collectibles does, and it is similar to something like Loot Crate or, or something like that, because you subscribe to this, and I'll have a link to all this in the description too if you guys want to check them out. Of course, they sent me this crate to open up, so... Uh, Let's see what's in it, because I don't know. It's usually, like I said, whatever the newest thing is for that month, so we'll see. I don't really have any good guesses right now, honestly. There, I'm using an actual knife this time, too, so I'm trying to be careful that... Yeah, I don't know if I've shown this knife on camera yet. It's really sharp, so I thought it would be about time I actually start using a knife that can cut through things. It might make things a little easier. And, of course, too, I still have the uh, bleach sword, by the way, because, yeah, that's always going to be part of the channel. But what do we have here? And, uh, Dark Saviors. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should have guessed that, honestly. That makes sense. So, we have some packs of Dark Saviors. How many do we have? Six packs. Okay. Maybe we can get, like, an Engage or something? I don't know. That'd be awesome if so. Out of some random packs. Of course, you always get a Mystery Pack, which can be a lot of different things. Sometimes they've gotten deck boxes, extra packs. You never know. I think that's always random, too. And also, of course, as you guys can see, we have two Flames of Destruction Special Editions as well. So, maybe we'll have some good luck out of these, too. I don't know. Sometimes I have good luck with this set, and sometimes not so much. I'm hoping, though, that uh, with Cybernetic Horizon, that's the one I'm really looking forward to. And I'm hoping I'm going to have good luck with that one. I have already ordered a case, too. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. Is that everything yet is? I'm actually going to keep this box, because I actually need to play store more cards. Yeah, it's a problem, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep that one. Alright, what do we have here? I'm going to go with the mystery pack first. Can I use this knife and not hurt myself? Always cut away from yourself. And don't use a knife like me. I feel like I should add that as a disclaimer. Do not use a knife like I do. I know I'm not safe. So first off, we have an extreme force pack. That's pretty cool. And here's something that seems kind of random. Yeah, and we got a Karibo. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, did they, like, make their own Karibos or something? Well, that's pretty neat. I like that. So, yeah, uh, it looks like we have, like, a mini Karibo you can get from this. That is awesome. I wonder if they're going to make more, you know, characters. You need to make, like, Watapon next, right? I mean, come on. That'd be a good choice. Or some uh, other Karibos. Maybe, like, Wing Karibo or the Karibo Brothers or something. Or even Curry Bandit would be awesome, by the way. You need to get, like, a eye patch and, a, I guess, what, a hat? Doesn't he have a hat? I think so. But, uh, yeah, that is awesome. I hadn't seen that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll use that, like, as a token or something, probably. I don't know. That is really cool. Yeah, and speaking of, you should make, like, scapegoat tokens. Just giving you some ideas. And, uh, okay, I guess we have, like, random cards. I don't know what to expect from this. What do we have here? I'm trying to be careful. All right. And we have a token and Karibo. <laughs> well, there you go. That, that makes sense, then. So, yeah, we actually got a Karibo card and a token, I guess. So, maybe they had the same idea, like, I was they can use it as a token or something. Would be pretty funny. I'd like to get five of those. I, I might have to see if I can get a few extras of those. But, uh, yeah, that's awesome. Kind of a neat thing. That's what I like, too, is that they are trying to do some different things. So I like that. So that, that is everything, right? Yeah, okay. Double checking. But we'll go with our Extreme Force pack first, and uh, see what we get. Maybe we'll start off strong with this. And by the way, everything that we have here, you're guaranteed a hollow. So we just hope, though, that we'll get one of the, the better hollows. We'll see. Column switch. Secure Gardena. There can only be one, is our super rare, as well as uh, Vector Scare Archfiend. Not too bad. Underclock Taker. There you go. There's a good common. I, I like there can only be one. I mean, it's not a crazy card to get. I just love the artwork of it because, <laughs> yeah, the, the skeletons and all, though. Skull Servants going through the airport or something. Let's see. Dark Saviors. Like I said, can we get, like, an Engage or something else? I mean, all the... For hires are getting hype lately, so I'll go with that. Which, by the way, I have not forgotten to do the net profile on that. That's going to be very soon. I've, I've just been really busy, so forgive me on that. I'm not good at promising things at a certain schedule, as you guys know. Have Bravo Fighter for hire. Then, oh, well, that's actually pretty good. A Sky Striker Ace Ray. That's kind of tough to get, actually. Scapegoat. Have a Hercules Base and... Uh, well, we got one of the For Hire cards. This one is Training for Hire for All Your Training Needs. So yeah, that's their trap card. Not bad. <laughs> Mainly, just the name of that card is just 
Uh, <laughs> I always have to concentrate when I read it, because with all the puns and everything, it's just interesting. We'll put it that way. <laughs> At least I'm starting to get used to the name change a little bit. Well, we're going to focus. Have Vampire Familiar. You guys can probably already tell on that. There we go. It finally focused. Vampire Familiar. Okay. <laughs> Want to make sure you guys can see the card. Recon Scout for Hire. Drowning Mirror Force. Uh, Fandor the Flying Fortress. And we have a Vampire's Domain. For a second, I thought maybe we had like a gauge or something because I saw it was a spell card. So, couldn't help it. It does make you wonder. So far, we have Fur Hire and Vampires, so that means Sky Strikers have to be next. Let's see, uh, Vampire Retainer, then a Dark Greffer, Armageddon Knight, that's good, and Plague Spreader, man, we got all the good reprints, and then a Vampire Domination. I love the way this card looks, too. That card just looks amazing. By the way, I still recommend getting the Vampire cards, seriously. They're a lot of fun to use, and uh, I think everything's still pretty cheap for them. I don't, I don't think anything's shot up in price that I know of. And they're a lot of fun. I did a deck profile on those, so check that out if you haven't, yep. Right, we have a Vampire Orcus, then Vampire Awakening, a Donpa Marksman for Hire, then Sky Striker uh, Mech Eagle Booster, and we have a Vampire's Desire. Dang, every time I see a spell card, I think I have a gauge or something there. But yeah, more Vampire cards. Again, that's another one I like the artwork too, as well. It's just, they put in a lot of effort, I feel like, with the artworks on the Vampire cards. There we are. We have Quick Booster, then Seal Stratches for Hire, Crimson Knight to Vampire Braum, then, uh, let's see, uh, Reinforcement of the Army, and we have, man, it gets me every time, seriously, <laughs> Sky Striker Mecha Modules Multi-Roll. So at least we got a Sky Striker card this time, but again, I, I know, I keep falling for it. My heart's like dropped like five different times this video, seriously. But still pretty cool to get something else on that. And... We are down to our last pack for Dark Savior. So, what can we end with? Let's see. Go ahead and <laughs> leave your guesses in the comments, right? Maybe we can get something. Well, Toon Table Contents. That's actually a good super. That's one of the best supers. Uh, Shadow Vampire. Then Helmer Helmsman for Hire. Uh, Sky Striker Mech. Uh, Hornet Drones. And we have Vampire's Desire. So, yeah, we actually got a double on that one. But again, it does look cool. And, yeah, unfortunately, no Engage or any of the really sought-after cards, but, yeah, if I would have got that out of six packs anyway, you guys know I would have had, like, 20 comments saying that it was all scaled. I mean, seriously, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you guys can tell uh, we still did pretty well with that. I don't, I don't mind. And uh, let's see what else that we have from Flames of Destruction, Special Editions. I'm telling you guys, I'm saving my luck anyway for Cybernet Horizon. There we go. Throw away the plastic and everything. So what do we have here? We have World Legacy's Memory, and then Morning Glacia. Not bad. That's the better, I guess that's the best promo out of all four, really. Here, we'll kind of, we'll see if we get all four of the promos. Let's get to it. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video, which I hope you are, uh, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It helps out a ton. And hopefully YouTube will actually tell you if I upload a video. We'll see. Well, first off, we have another Elemental Lord. That kind of goes together with Morning Glacier, right? Uh, we have Foster Age, the Elemental Lord, so it's a light one. And then also Nightmare Mermaid. Not bad. That rare is actually tough to get. <laughs> I think I've actually opened up a box and didn't get one of Mermaid. So, it's actually pretty good. Might be tougher to get than some of the hollows in this set, honestly. Right, next pack. Avrim, check this out, right? <laughs> I still love how they changed that, or I don't love it, but you know what I mean. And uh, Degrade Buster for our Super Rare and World Legacy Awakens. Yeah, of all the different texts you could have for that card. Just part of me likes it just because it's just the Konami thing to do, you know? <laughs> and I don't mean that as a good thing. <laughs> let's see, Vendred Nightmare. It's our last pack. Okay, let's not end with just, like, all Super Rares on this. Come on. How are the cards? Do I? Oh, okay. We got something, and it is Nightmare Griffin. <laughs> there we go. Now that is awesome. I could tell, you know, I knew it was a nightmare after I saw it in Secret Rare. So, yeah, we actually got Griffin. <laughs> that is so awesome. 
There, that makes me feel a lot better about this now, too. So, at least we're able to get an amazing card, uh, which, like I said, now we're going to get the comments, what's happening here. You can't have good luck in an opening? Come on. <laughs> and also, backup operator for our uh, rare. You know what? That makes me happy to see that card. And, uh, last special edition. We'll see what we can end with. I'm happy. I got a secret rare. I got a, like... Karibo token is what I'm going to call it. I mean, that's pretty cool. And, yeah, we got the same two promos. Morning Glacier and World Legacy Memory. So, uh, again, though, I think they're probably the better of the promos, honestly. There we go. Too many things trying to go through at the same time. There, so you guys can see both cards. And, let's get through our last three packs. What can we get? Can we get the, you know, any of the other nightmares, really? If a dead heat. Should all construct. And link bound for a super rare and another one of Nightmare Mermaid. <laughs> that is actually good. Again, tough to get rare. Also, does it throw anyone else off too when you see all these link monsters as commons? I keep thinking that's my holographic, you know? It gets me every time. Again, it's just like with Engage, I guess, right? I fall for that stuff <laughs> in any opening like that. Kind of like the older days when you would see, like when they started having common synchros and exceeds actually in the set, or even pendulums, really. Uh, I would always fall for that, too, because you think you have a hollow. Octostretch, that's good common. Insulator. And uh, we got an Ultra Rare this time. Okay. Uh, Element Saber... Um, Molu? Is that how you say it? I think that's how. So that's cool. And also we got another really good rare, which is uh, F.A. Dark Dragster. So that is actually really good. That's a good pack to get because that's another rare that's one of the tougher ones to get of the set. You usually would get, if you're lucky, one of them out of a box. And of course an ultra rare. I mean, that's awesome. So yeah, there we go. Not bad at all. Okay. I was kind of worried because sometimes with special edition openings, I don't know, lately my luck's been kind of eh, you know, especially with like, I, I know it was bad with Extreme Force, and I was hoping it wouldn't be, you know, we were open up both these and just all super rares in both, so I'm really happy with that. And we're now we're down to our last pack, so what can we end with? Can we end with something above a super rare? Let's see, because I can't say it with the hollow, obviously. Space Insulator. And we end with a super rare. It is Element Saber uh, La Pala Mana. So, yeah, there we go. And also, F.A. Overheat. But, yep, unfortunately, did not end with something above a super rare, but I can't complain. I I'm happy with what I got for sure. Um, yeah, I'm running out of room. I did not organize this well. Is everything on camera? Okay, good enough. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, I got Nightmare Griffin, so I'm happy with it. And also getting Karibo is really awesome, too. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Unfortunately, you can't get this crate now because uh, it's after the 18th they ship them out. And yeah, it's going to be, if you uh, go ahead and try to subscribe now, you'll subscribe to the next crate. Which the next one, I guess, will have um, Relentless Revenge in it. So it looks like that will be a good crate. I have no idea if they're going to have like these Kribos. Maybe they have them on their website or something. I'll double check for myself because I'm not sure. And if they do, I'll have a link for that also in the description. But I'll have a link to all these crates, of course, if you guys want to check them out for yourself. And uh, yeah, I just have a lot of fun opening them up. And of course, like I said, they sent me this to do a video on. So check out all the stuff in the description. Of course, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, openings, discussions, news videos, and other things too. And also ring that bell so you will be notified when I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel. Hope you have a great day. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.